Now, everybody wants bigger delts. Who doesn't? It gives you a nice illusion of width to give you the illusion of a narrow waist, okay? It gives you that three-dimensional look if you can really target those front delts too that insert right across the pecs. So to target that, we're gonna go into like a squat press here, machine. However, we're gonna be pressing it overhead. So I'm gonna step in, make sure that I'm right underneath the machine and pressing up overhead. The difference being, as opposed to doing with a dumbbell or a barbell, you're gonna get a lot of contraction and tension at the top of this exercise, as opposed to all the strain at the bottom that can put your delts in a vulnerable position. Ooh. Now what is great about this exercise is that, okay, you're not gonna be facing a mirror, so you can't see how far you should be coming down, but you do have these shoulder pads that will come down, they'll touch your delts, and that's when you know that you've got the full range of motion targeted in order for you to be prompted to go back up. Again, I like to do slightly high repetitions on this because I don't wanna to put too much core activation or pressure on my back. So we're looking at around 12 to 15 repetitions on this exercise three sets in total. As opposed to seating with a chest against the pad here, my head or my forehead is gonna be against the pad. I'm gonna bend over as if I'm gonna do a conventional rear delt exercise. However, with dumbbells, sometimes you can get a little bit too much interaction from your rhomboids and your lats and your traps. Now, what you'll like about this exercise is that you're not having a grip a dumbbell, you're not having a grip a rear pec deck machine. You are just isolating your rear delts without any other secondary involvement, which will help you get a better mind-muscle connection to this very small muscle group that is really hard to isolate. Three sets on here of a slightly higher rep range of around 15 repetitions, I find is the sweet spot to bring out the development. A lot of people start with the lateral portion because they wanna hit those mirror muscles hard. However, I think the anterior deltoid should be prioritized because that's what gives you the width when it comes across your chest, okay? So what we're gonna do is lie down here. We're gonna hold on to the cables and then we're gonna raise up to the sides. And why I like to lie down is because it completely isolates the lateral head of the delts. When you're using dumbbells, a lot of the time you'll just involuntary swing and start bringing in your traps. So it's gonna be very hard to do so here and you'll feel the fatigue once you've completed a set. Ooh. The reason why I like to do some of these cables and machines and changing up the rep range is that I find that you have a great ratio of fast twitch and slow twitch muscle fibers. Your type one, type two A, type two B really get targeted when you swap these up and isolate it. So I like to hit anywhere between 15 and 20 repetitions here to finish things off, get a lot of blood into the muscle, stretch your fascia, allow the nutrients to get into this area with your post-workout shake, then allow them to grow.